Hey guys, this is episode three, and uh, how do I figure out how to make money in uh, the business tips that I'm sharing? And the first thing I would say is uh, it starts as a mathematical equation. So you can pick based on your skill sets and based on the value that you're going to bring to the consumer, whether it's a product or a service, figuring out how much money you make and then figuring out what it is you want to make. So when I did this drill that I'm going to do with you, I had two skill sets. I had martial arts skill sets. So I had martial arts students and I had uh, IT support consultants that I had known that would work for me, work with me be from my previous IT recruiting business that I had met all these people for years and years who were interested in continuing to build a relationship with me and work on this new business along with my business partner who uh, we both had had these relationships. So how I came up with how do you know what you want to make and how do you figure that out? Literally, it's just a mathematical equation. So I'm going to come over to my uh, calculator here and show you that, you know, you just start at zero. And I figured at the time, this was a 2001, I'd like to make that amount of money. I thought that was the money that I wanted to make at that time. So um, I had to start figuring it out. So if I have martial arts students, how I figured it out was I made about 30 dollars a student per month. So I started to say how many students would I need and I started doing the math. I said if I had thirty dollars thirty dollars times thirty students times twelve months that would give me that much. Right? So then I knew I'd need 300 students times 30 dollars, let's do the math, 300 students times 30 dollars times 12, that would be that number. So I'd need 300 martial arts students each month, including dealing with their families and uniforms and all of those other details. I then realized with IT person, um, if we had them work for a company at $100 an hour and we gave them half of that and then Alex and I, my business partner, took half of that, I'd have $25. So if I had $25 times 40 hours in a week times 52 weeks, I'd have that number. So that told me if I double that number times two, I'd have that number. And what that taught me was that I needed two IT people working two eight hour days versus 300 martial arts students every month. Well, as you could see, it was easier for me to do IT support now. So that's how I decided to go full force into the IT business, which I still run an IT consulting business to this day with my business partner and uh, he's been tremendous uh, over the course of this time. So that's how you figure that out. But there's a bonus to this video and that is that I was homesick one uh, New Year's Eve and I started reading um, the WAN ads and I noticed that DeVry uh, Institute of Technology had a business career development department so I talked to that business development department director and he shared with me that he'd love to have me come in and be the wrap-up speaker. So for 13 years, I was the wrap-up speaker on what do you want in your career? And there's a video out there where I speak to Harper College. I'll actually try to put that in the link below where it's kind of a three-part series, but about what you want in your career. But one of the things that I talked about, item number nine, was what are the ways to make money? And when I started that journey, I had three. One of them was work hard, uh, and I'll go through the other two with you as well. But I would ask the, the students, what do you think there's legitimate ways to make money? And they came up with some ideas. So now there's 14 ways that I have to make money that they have thought of that are legitimately. And all of these ways are 
just the ways they are. So maybe you have some that you can add in the comments that we're not thinking of, but I'm going to go through some of those right now. Now, we're kind of assuming that your mom and dad are not giving you a silver spoon into the business uh, on these on these pieces, right? So the one is sell something or a service for a profit. For example, my martial art business is a service. So every student that comes in, I get a percentage off that student. The park district that I teach at uh, gets the other portion of that. If it's a product, uh, obviously there has to be a markup on that. You could figure out the numbers based on the profit, the way we just went through that. Um, number two, work hard. If one guy is working at McDonald's 50 hours and one guy is working at McDonald's for 40 hours, the one who works 50 hours, assuming they have the same pay rate, is going to come home with more money. Okay. Number three, winning a lawsuit. Yes, there's a lot of people who've won a lot of money winning a lawsuit. I actually had a raised pavement marker fly off from a uh, snowplow coming at me, go through my windshield, hit me, thank God, in the shoulder. Uh, if it would hit me in the face, I wouldn't be talking to you probably today. But uh, that could have been a lawsuit that was one I did not win that lawsuit. Believe it or not, they told me I look too good. I'll take that compliment. So I didn't get <laughs> the money from the lawsuit, although I'm glad I didn't. Number four, when it, winning, let me try that again, winning when betting the odds. So if you play the lotto and you win, if you do gambling and you win, if you play bingo and you win, the key is having the right decision when playing poker or whatever, all right? So you see all these poker shows or sports gambling, things like that. The next one is investing right. So if you bought a house and it goes up, if you bought gold, if I had Michael Jordan sports cards and they went up, whatever that is, stocks are investing right. Whatever that is, the key is to make it move forward for you and invest right. Number seven, find a treasure. I'll use this as an example. There are shows like Expedition Unknown or The Curse of Oak Island, which is showing you that they're trying to find a treasure in that. And if they find the treasure or buried treasure or these different treasure things, you're watching an antique road show and oh look, it's four dogs playing poker, but we took off the paint and look, it's a Renoir. Well, those are ways to find a treasure. Or if you're at a uh, real estate uh, sale and you see something that you know is valuable or somebody else doesn't know it. Number eight, hire others and profit off their labor. As an example, my IT business, we have consultants who work for us they make a percentage of the money and there's a percentage that's left. I get a percentage, my business partner gets an expen uh, a percentage, then there's expenses and after that is the actual profit that you make. So we profit off their labor the more consultants I have. Let me use this as an example. If I have one consultant and let's say I make $25 an hour for every hour that consultant works. Now they gotta be working. If they're not working, you make nothing. Now I have two consultants working that same day. I make $50 an hour. Three consultants, 75. Four consultants, $100. You get how this works. So the more consultants I have working at different clients, assuming that those clients pay, which they usually do, because you test that out beforehand. We'll talk about targeting clients next in the next episode. Um, that's how you profit off their labor. Okay. The next one is uh, acquiring a skill or training. For example, if you go to school and get your CPA degree, if you get your law degree, if you get your MD degree and you hang your shingle with your name on it with that degree, people will come to you if they need that service, whether you're a doctor, a CPA, or whatever certification you may have. There's certifications in IT support that, that, that they go after, and that brings up their skill, which brings up the rate. Okay. Uh, patent an idea, a song, an app, or receive royalties. I'll use my YouTube channel. So my YouTube channel is based on, uh, you can see my silver YouTube button there. I'm really proud of that. Uh, my son is my editor. We're both proud. He has one too. And um, we get royalties from that. So when you watch a video like this one here, don't skip the commercial. We actually get paid. So when it says three, five, four, three, two, one, skip, if you don't skip that, we get paid. And when we get paid, it gives us the opportunity to share more videos with you. Um, so, you know, if you can watch those, those uh, commercials, if you can. Um, so that's how you get that. So while I'm even talking to you, 
I have over 2,100 different YouTube videos of cars. It's called My Car Story with Lou. Those are making money while I'm talking to you so I can get that chance to do that. Number 11, receive a miracle. There are people who receive a miracle. Um, I'll just leave it there. They have. They've received it. And it comes from nowhere. It's just a blessing. Let me give you an example. Someone trips in their yard and they trip over a nugget of gold that they never knew was there. <laughs> that's receiving a miracle. Now, you can say that you know that's uh, uh, investing right, but, but that's one of those investing uh, a miracle. Number 12, receive an item or rent for profit. So, for example, there was a time that I had a house uh, here and I had a house in Arizona. And when I wasn't in Arizona, we would rent it out. And we would make a profit from that house while I was living here. And that helped pay for the expenses of that house out there. So uh, some people have many rental units. The more rental units you have, kind of like what you saw with the consultants, the more rental units they have. And if they have the right renter in there, they're making a lot of money. Number 13, successful or profitable email campaign or uh, advertisement. So it could be a TV commercial. You think of things and names that you know which are brands. We'll talk about branding in another episode. But for example, you think of the uh, Geico uh, Lizard. You think of, uh, uh, you know, uh, Flow from Progressive Care, uh, Progressive Insurance, excuse me, the auto. You think of the girl in the red outfit for the Toyota. Uh, there's uh, those people who are part of that brand. You think of Mr. Clean for the cleaning agent uh, in the white shirt. Those, those brands connect you to that, that topic. If you see the big yellow M, you know that it's McDonald's. And lastly, maybe the most important one, in my opinion, is creativity. The definition of creativity is do what you do naturally so it's easy for you and it doesn't seem like work. For example, there's Michael Jordan, who seemed like it was just his God-given talent to play in the basketball court. He made it look easy. There's a uh, Microsoft obviously has uh, quite a bit of uh, technology on a lot of people's computers. Apple has the phones. Uh, McDonald's is the creativity to uh, you know bring burgers fast to you. God, the ultimate creator who created the world. So um, you know if you have ideas that help others, usually you're doing what I call your God-given talent. If you don't know what your creativity is, sometimes just go ask your mom. Or someone who really knows you, friends, they'll tell you, hey, man, you should do this. This is you. Uh, and investigate that. There's um, something called the e-myth, which is I'm really good at, you know, if you're really good at baking, I'm not. But if you are, my wife's a really good baker, uh, maybe she should open a bakery. But you still have to know the back office. You still have to know how to sell that. You still have to know how to brand it. You still have to market. So the bottom line is we all need help. But I hope that uh, in this video of you know how to how to uh, figure out how to make some money and and some ideas of different ways that things happen whether it's patenting or or an idea that you have or, or your own brand or or working hard or investing right these uh, finding a treasure uh, receiving a miracle purchasing an item and renting it out for profit Warren Buffett I understand uh, I've never talked to Warren so this is just hearsay for me but I understood that his first item that he had for profit was a pinball game. He bought a pinball game and made the quarters off of that or the nickels or whatever it was and then bought another pinball game and then started to do that. So it's there's different ways to make the money but look for your, um, your I call it God-given talent, what you're good at. I'm good at communicating to people and instructing them and helping them and moving them in a direction that helps them. I have a communication consulting business where I help coach people and help coach companies when their sales are stuck or if they're just having difficulties in the office with everybody being on the same page. Those are some things that I help with. So if that's something that brings a value to you, I'm really looking forward to building uh, that business which helps your business. And uh, I'll give you an example. Uh, the last company that I brought one of my tools with called the DISC, D-I-S-C, um, I brought that to the company. It was a one-day training. I taught 10 of their executives. That president called me back and said, 90 days after you came in and trained us, Lou, our sales went up 17% because we're speaking the client's language better than just being selfish on our own, our own interests. 
So it's those kind of things that I want to help and bring to the table to not only corporations I can talk to, but to people just like yourself. And I'm doing this because I really want to help people get to their destinations. So if it helps you get to your destination, it's a blessing to me. And I hope that this video helped you. All right. So stay tuned and I hope you enjoy this series and I hope that you enjoy the next episode too. Thanks guys. Thank you.